in this video we are going to discuss about type conversion and type casting in java first let's see about type conversion type conversion can also be called as implicit type conversion or automatic type conversion why because the type conversion is done automatically by the program uh, so we should not perform any type conversion here so that's why type conversion is called as implicit why because the type conversion will be done implicitly by the program or automatic type conversion automatically the conversion will be done first let's see the definition here type conversion is the process of converting a value from one data type to another data type so if you want to convert a value from one data type to another data type we use as type conversion now let's see when type conversion is possible this happens when we assign a smaller data type variable to larger data type variable so when we assign a smaller data type variable to larger data type variable then what will happen nothing will be lost why because we are storing smaller data type variable in a larger data type variable so larger data type has larger capacity whereas smaller data type has what smaller capacity so here no automatic conversion is supported from numeric type so we have various numeric type like uh, we have byte we have int short long float so it is not possible to convert from numeric data type to character or it is not possible to convert from numeric to boolean boolean so what is type conversion here lower data type is to be converted to the higher data type if you take the example of byte the size of a byte is 1 byte so we can convert that one into its higher data types such as short the size of the short is 2 bytes int size is flow by flow 4 bytes long size is 8 bytes float size is 4 bytes okay uh, likewise if you take short the size of the short is 2 bytes we can convert short to its higher data types such as int long float so likewise we can convert int to long float so likewise we can do the conversions okay now let's see an example for type conversion let's see an example for the type conversion here if we observe this program here int a is equal to 10 int a is equal to 10 the size of the integer in java is 4 bytes next statement long b is equal to a so here a is what smaller data type whereas b is what larger data type so then automatically what will happen is lower data type is to be converted to the higher data type so this a will be converted to what long long so long b is equal to a so this is called as type conversion type conversion means converting from lower to higher so here a is integer we are storing integer in a higher data type called long so that that integer is converted to the long so likewise float c is equal to a float c is equal to a so float has float is higher data type when compared with a when compared with integer or uh, those two are same only then also we can do the conversion here so now now what will happen uh, is this this uh, a will become what 10 so now this 10 will be stored in c so by default float means 0.0 will be stored if we display a b and c then we will get a value is 10 only b value is 10 only c value is 10 only so 10 will be printed thrice so this is called as type conversion so converting lower data type to higher data type we are converting lower data type such as integer into the uh, higher data type such as long so now a is converted to long so if we compile this program so java c type conversion so java c type conversion dot java so do the compilation no errors now let us do the execution now 10 will be printed thrice now 10 will be printed thrice this is floating point so that's why point 0 is printed now let us see the next concept that is type casting type casting type casting means it is the process of converting from uh, one data type to another data type but the conversion is done explicitly by the programmer or user 
so we have to done the conversion so type casting means higher data type value is to be converted to the lower data type various type conversion means lower data type is converted to the higher data type various type casting means higher data type value is to be converted to the lower data type so let's see here one more point if we assign a value of higher data type to the lower data type then some data may be lost why because uh, higher data type means it has higher size whereas lower data type variable means it has lower size so we can't store higher data type value in a lower data type variable if you store like that then some information is lost if you take the example of long the size of the long is 8 bytes so it is converted to uh, its its lower data types such as byte size is 2 bytes byte size is 1 byte short size is 2 bytes integer size is 4 bytes likewise if you take float float is converted to lower data types such as int byte short the size of the byte is 1 byte short size 2 bytes int size 4 bytes float size is also 4 bytes int size is also 4 bytes but with the help of the float we can store very very larger numbers because float means uh, uh, we have to represent the data in the exponential form we use uh, some powers so that we can represent higher numbers uh, so we can convert float to int also okay now let's see an example for the uh, type casting okay let's take an example here double m is equal to 71.5 if we want we can use float also but if we use as float then 71.5 must ends with either small f or capital f why because in java by default floating point number means it is a double number if you want to store a floating point number explicitly then it must ends with either small f or capital f now what we are doing here is we are doing the type casting type casting means converting higher data type to the lower data type here we are trying to convert double to the integer so int a is equal to m but what is m here double data type so we can't store them in the integer so what we are doing is we are performing the type casting explicitly so within the parenthesis we have to write a int so if we write int here then the integer part of 71.5 will be stored in a now a will become 71 actually what is m value 71.5 but 0.5 is lost here that is the problem here if you perform type casting explicitly then some information may be lost here 0.5 got lost it if you display a then only 75 will get printed so let us do the uh, compilation so java c type casting dot java uh, let us do the execution so java type casting so java type casting so then only 71 will get printed so 0.5 last this is about type conversion and type casting in java program